How's it going, gang? It's MP Cavalier and the Do It Indie crew. We are in the basement of Radio Radio in fabulous Fountain Square. Tonight is the Beta Cell Bash. Dozens of local artists and local musicians getting together to raise money for Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. It's an annual event, and I'm standing here with my new friend, Mr. Michael Schwab. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you, too, Greg. How are you feeling about tonight? Oh, fantastic. Yeah. So, uh, across the street from here, there's an art auction going on. Again, local artists donating their work, donating their time to raise some money for uh, finding a cure for type 1 diabetes. And then, in just a couple of minutes, 12 bands, not all at the same time, are going to be playing upstairs on the stage. Tonight's theme is Ticket to Ride. Every band is going to be doing a short set which will include uh, one Beatles cover. How did you come to the Beatles covers? I mean, they're kind of an obscure band. Not a lot of people have really heard of them. That's, that's exactly it. We wanted to do something that might bring people in so they could hear something they'd never heard before. Mm -hmm. But really, Ticket to Ride was the, the idea because we, we have a ride team that this is the people that are presenting. This is my Indiana JDRF bicycle ride team and we raised we've raised about a million dollars since 2001 with this ride team and we started i started doing this event in 2004 to raise money for that ride team and now it's evolved oh, where i'm actually right. on the team and we're raising even more money now can you tell us a little bit about um about where we are in Indiana with oh, diabetes. Really? Okay. Now, the statistics are always a little bit of alarming whenever you talk about these things but what, what's What's the Indiana status? Well, the Indiana status is really pretty normal nationwide when you talk about uh, type 1 diabetes. Mm -hmm. But it is an expanding disease where it's not just growing, but it's growing by percentages. In other words, not only are more people becoming type 1 diabetic, but they're becoming, there's a higher percentage of people becoming type 1 every year. And it's an autoimmune disease. Mm -hmm. So it's not like they've done anything that, that caused this to happen. It's just all of a sudden your body kind of turns on itself right. and produces autoantibodies that then attack the beta cells in your liver and you quit producing insulin. 10% of Hoosiers have some form of diabetes at 720,000 people, including Mr. Michael Schwab. Now, Michael, you were diagnosed in 1974. Back in the Stone Age. Back in the Stone Age. You were a very young person. You were 13 or 14 years uh -huh. old, and here you are. Uh, an older person, uh -huh. and uh, you become kind of a champion uh, for uh, finding a cure through Indiana Cure Chasers and through a lot of other things, including this event, the Beta Cell Bash. Um, this will be an ongoing thing every year. How did you, how did you come up with the concept of the Beta Cell Bash? Because it's a really exciting event. H how did this idea come to you? Well, I had a band. Uh, called... didn't, didn't we all? back in the day and we were looking for something that we could do uh, just to help out have a charity that we could champion uh, myself and my drummer were both type 1 diabetics and my drummer's wife actually came up with the name the beta cell back and the next thing we knew we put this event together we knew a lot of bands because we were playing 150 shows a year at the time and in 2004 we we started the Beta Cell Bash with the uh, same amount of bands we got today, except we didn't have near the buzz we got. Right, it's right. a lot easier when you're not playing the show. Yeah. Now, this is an awesome event. Now, obviously, by the time you see this video, the event will most likely be over, but it'll be back next year. And the way the event runs, again, is we've got artists across the street auctioning their art. We've got 12 bands playing upstairs. Tonight's theme is Ticket to Ride. I'm very excited. I'm a huge Beatle fanatic. This event is 10 bucks to get in. So if you missed this one, Mark your calendar for a year from now because you don't want to miss it again. Um, Michael, uh, you're, you're, as far as I'm concerned, you are a local hero, a national hero. I appreciate what you do. Diabetes has kind of a, uh, well, there's kind of a personal story there with me and, and, and my family. Our, our camera person, Eric, uh, his mom is type 1 diabetic and she's had her struggles over the years. But what you do is heroic to me and, and, and I thank you again for everything and I hope you guys have a great night tonight. This is a great event. This is Michael Schwab. Uh, you ready to do three questions? Sure, let's do okay, three Let's questions. do three questions with After Michael that Schwab. Build up, how can <laughs> let's do three questions with Michael Schwab from the Indiana Cure Chasers. Uh, Michael, tell me about your favorite cover version ever. What's the best cover version you've ever heard? Okay, well that's kind of a toss-up. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Marilyn Manson doing Tainted Love. Okay. That would be one. And the, I've got another one. Let's just go with Marilyn Manson. Marilyn no. Manson, Tainted Love. Um, 
Yeah, Marilyn Manson, Tainted Love that's, It Is. That's a great that's choice. That's a great choice. That's the winner. Tell me about your guilty pleasure record. Now, the guilty pleasure record is when there's nobody around and you know that nobody will be home for a while. You're a little bit embarrassed that you even like this record, but you put it on. What's your guilty pleasure? Well, I'm not really like that. I like all kinds of music. I'm not ashamed of it, but probably I have one that I should be ashamed of. I'm a huge Gaga fan. <laughs> and the new Gaga remix CD, I got it for Christmas mm -hmm. at, at, in the work exchange. And believe me, there was, a, there was a lot of, they thought I put that on there as a joke. And the lady that got that for me was so embarrassed. But I love it. Mm -hmm. Me and Gaga went to Florida this year. Together? Yeah. <laughs> What's she like? I don't know, she didn't really, she just sang the whole time. Ah. Put her in the rental car CD player uh, there. Well, actually, I must, think I may have put her on my iPhone. I don't remember. That must have been a hell of a ride. It was. Uh, tell me about the album that you could not live without. Well, that would be ZZ Top, Tejas. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. ZZ Top, is, you just can't. Now that's pre-cheap sunglasses, kids. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. when they were just at Texas. Uh, power tree. Yeah. Right. That's before they were turning AMC Gremlins into sleek Maseratis with just yeah. the snap of their finger, right? They wore cowboy hats and had uh, cows on stage. They used to have farm animals on stage. That's yeah. right. That's yeah. right. I see a video. That's awesome. Marilyn Manson, Tainted Love, uh -huh. Lady Gaga, and ZZ Top. This is a fully realized man. Michael Schwab, Indiana Cure Chasers. Again, thank you so much thank for being the Greg Selvash. Thank you for your time. This has been three questions and then some with Michael Schwab. I'm MP Cavalier, do it indeed.